Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I am here with Cassidy Werner from Robinsberger. Hi, Cassidy. Nice to have you here again. Hi. Thanks for having so, me. So today we are looking at Disney Hocus Pocus the game. You might recognize these faces on the cover because Disney Hocus Pocus the game is based on an older movie, not a current one. But of course, Robinsberger reaches across the decades uh, selecting all sorts of topics. You got looking just behind Cassidy there. We got Jaws. We got Back to the Future. We got Jungle Cruise. Wonder Woman as well spans the decades. Um, how did this game come to be? Um, well, whenever we have our product meetings, 1 p.m. on Tuesdays, we all sit around a table and try to think about what our players might like to see. There's a lot of um, somewhat gross but very necessary sales and marketing data that comes into play. Um, the licensors was al will also provide you with a list of like, here's a list of vault properties that we might like to, to explore. These are our focuses for a certain year. We also look for um, unmet needs. So with Hocus Pocus, there's not a ton out there for fans. So we thought it would be a good time to try to tackle it. Um, and with some titles, like the licensing approvals are more complex than others. And so we don't shy away from that. Jungle Cruise, for example, had more stages of approvals than a regular game because we had to go through the parks. Hocus Pocus is a beloved vault title. So that has a slightly more intense approvals processes than some others. So um, we don't shy away from that. So we're really excited to tackle it and bring it to life. OK, interesting. I mean, it's. Definitely, I imagine as well, in addition to properties that are available, it's also, well, we're going to issue a new uh, edition here and a revi revamped Blu-ray with background disc, you know, coming out early 2021. So you get advanced notice of all that and have some idea of how to coordinate things. Sometimes they're normally um, time to anniversaries of certain properties. I don't know that this is an anniversary for Hocus Pocus, so like a, a 10 or five year anniversary day. We tend to do stuff, um, but we did find out about the sequel that they're planning for Disney Plus after its release, so we were pretty excited about that. Ah, okay. Yeah, Disney Plus has probably opened up a lot of possibilities for people just for large and small scale. So, yeah, interesting. Um, so, Hocus Pocus is a cooperative game for two to six players. We got the witches on the front here. We are not representing the witches, though. We are trying to thwart the witches. So maybe you can give an overview of the game story and what we're trying to do. So the Sanderson witches have um, one night to complete their potion and extend their immortality at the cost of the children of Salem. So we are going to try to mess up their potion. You can see the cauldron board there in the middle with all sorts of different ingredients. And then you'll be given a hand of cards. So magic hands, Nikki, if you would like to pick up some of the cards, you can show everybody what's on there. We have five ingredients and five colors. And we're going to be playing these into the board. So on your turn, you would have a hand of cards. and You get to ask one question to the other players because the Sanderson Witches of Cast a Spell makes it hard to communicate about either the color or the type of ingredient. So if you, me, okay. and Nikki were playing, I might ask, do you have any newt saliva or do you have any purple cards? And you would be able to say yes or no. And then I would play a card into the cauldron. And in order to okay. play a card into the cauldron, either the type or the color has to match. So for example, I could put a green newt saliva um, on either a, a green or a newt saliva. I could also play the blue newt saliva there if I wanted to. As you're playing ingredients, right. something will happen. You can see some of these have little icons in the corner, either a Binks icon or a spell book icon. There's a spell book. And this can either hurt you or help you. There's a Binks icon there. So Binks, which has an adorable little cat meeple that took us ages and ages to get right, um, <laughs> will help you by coming out. And that allows one player to put their cards down in front of them so you get more information. He kind of okay. loosens the magic script on your communication. Face device. up in front of them. But, uh, Sorry? Face up in front of them so everyone knows exactly yes. what they have. Okay. Right. And then the spell is not a great thing. Sometimes you're forced to play that just because that's the only thing you can do, or that's because, or that's helps you towards matching all the ingredients or the, the colors in the, the cauldron, but that makes a spell come out. So you can see the spell deck there with the Hocus Pocus book. So 
So if you pick one of those up, you can kind of see that these will do something annoying to cite you back. So it'll either send binks away or they'll remove a stun token from the witches. Players can't ask for more information. So these are really obnoxious things where the Sanderson sisters are trying to fight back. Okay, and discard the top five cards from the deck. That is bad because the ingredient deck is your clock. Yes. Yep. If you run out of ingredients before you stun the witches, or if you get you stun the witches by making all of the colors or all of the ingredients in the cauldron the same, if that deck runs out before you're able to do that, then you lose. And the Sanderson witches do bad things and become immortal. Okay. Okay. Um, so I don't know if, if Lincoln is around and we actually play through, we, we can watch them, uh, how to do this. So yes, we got the timer on the board. We must stun the witches three times. And does it matter which witch? It does not matter which witch. Um, generally, you'll try to stun Winifred if you can by getting all of the ingredients to match and having one of each five colors visible because her spells tend to be the most dangerous. If you watch the movie, she is the most capable and dangerous witch. Um, okay. Mary, you can stun if you can get all the ingredients to match, and Sarah, you stun if you can get all the ingredients the same color. Okay. Uh, with a two-player game, each player has four cards in hand, I believe? Yes, two and three-player game, four cards. Other player counts, three cards. Okay. And then they take it away. And yes, the purpose of stunning a witch is then those spells do not happen, correct? Right. You mentioned so if on you the spell cards, um, you'll notice they, they show a, a certain witch. So for here, example, here's a, a Sarah Sanderson. If Sarah were stunned, if you had got all of the ingredients the same color, then that spell would not take effect. You would just disregard that. Okay. There are some spells that are cast by all three, such as Take Flight, and Stunning a Witch won't help you with that one. Okay. That gets cast regardless. All you can right. see the, the stun token here is what you put on the witches to indicate that they are stunned. Okay. And it's a really cute, light, cooperative game. This was my family's favorite game to play test over Thanksgiving because I make my family play test games over the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so to begin, uh, one of them would ask a question of the other player in terms of ingredients or card, uh, colors. Do you have a dash of the pox? I do not. Uh. So we're trying to get the ones the down feeling. that are visible? Pardon me? So you're trying to get all the cards to in the cauldron to be the same color or the same ingredient showing. Okay. And so right, right now you see five colors and five ingredients. So okay. do yes. you have oil of boil, so, Nikki P? So after Nikki asks a question, she's going to play one of her cards. Oh, I see. Okay. Yellow onto yellow or ingredient onto ingredient. Okay. And so we're going for yellow. Looks like that casts a spell. So you would draw one of the spell cards now and do what it says. Takes light. Light, remove the stun token from play and cast another spell. You haven't stunned any witches, so it doesn't set you back that much, but you do have to cast another spell. So you draw another card. Okay. From the spell deck, sorry. Oops. Okay. Each player passes one random ingredient from their hand to the player on their right. Also known as to the person on my left. <laughs> Here, I'm <have> that. <laughs> and then to end your turn, Nikki, draw an ingredient card. Yep. Okay. So you have four in play. Good to go. So now I'm going to ask Nikki for something? Yes. Because mm -hmm. I just, I, I, I passed it to her, so I know she has it. Is that yep. a good thing? Yes. Well, okay. possibly you can use her, the information of the cards in her hand so that you can see what you're trying to build toward in the cauldron. Right. Well, I did. Uh, Nikki, do you have oil of boil? I certainly do. Okay. And it Hooray. has the kitty well, on it. You don't play it. I don't play, oh, you don't play it. it. Still... Okay. Okay. You don't... Yeah. Okay. You play, play it. That. All right. So we cast this card. Then Lincoln would draw uh, another card. Okay, okay. Another uh, spell? No. 
Nope. Nope, not spell. Okay. Okay. Because think, it doesn't have the spell book icon in the corner there. I see, I see. Okay. Okay. So you would just draw another spell? I'm sorry, not now I'm doing yep. it. The ingredient. Another, <laughs> draw yeah, one more ingredient to bring your hand back up the yep, floor, yep. and then it would be Nikki. Okay, Nikki. Okay. Mm. What did I pass you? Oh, that. Um, <laughs> do, <laughs> do you have a... Way to San Jose? Uh-huh. Um, thine own tongue? <laughs> I do. Do you? Okay. I, I, my, I don't play it, though. You, you do your thing. You're yeah, just I'm learning what's do in my, my hand. Thing. I'm going to do my thing. Yep. Ta-da. Ta-da. There's awesome. the kitty on that so one. So that has Binks. So you would get the Binks meeple, the black cat there. Put it in front of you. And you can lay your cards down out in front of you so Lincoln can see all of your cards. Ah. Check it out. Or you can put it in front of someone else, yes? You can. Cool. Okay. And then okay. you would well, more cards. All I know is it's, we're not getting all the board. same color, that's for sure. Well, I'm trying. I know, I know you're trying. As am I. All right. And your cards stay face up. If you went into a, oh. a sticky Including situation the new cards? where you want to skip a card or yes. if you don't like your ingredients, you can. You do have four tricks there above the witch board. Sure. And that allow you to do different things according to what they say on there. So you could swap one ingredient with another player. You could you could skip your turn. You could discard your entire hand and draw more. Um, yeah, there they are. That's right. So especially you have three in a yellow... game like this. Oh, sorry. What? I was going to say you have three yellow cards. Nikki has no more yellow cards, though. You could skip her turn with Billy Butcherson, but that only matters if Lincoln has a couple of yellow cards that would actually complete things. Yeah, I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna discard, I'm gonna, the burning rain of death, I'm gonna discard three ingredients and draw on three ingredients. All right. Hope that'll help us. So that that's done okay. then, right? Yes. Right, so you flip it over. Yeah. You can only enjoy one burning ring of death. Okay, well, let me see. Uh, I'll, I'll dump these three. Do they go face up in the discard pile? Yep, face up next to the ingredient deck in the discard pile. There we go. Hey, I'm in no better shape. Cool. Um, and then I still <laughs> play a card. And you, yes. You can still play a card. Okay. Ah. If you, if you oh, cannot you play a, a card. Yes. Yep. So we flip that. Green lightning. I haven't lost my touch, sisters. Discard the top five cards from the ingredient deck. Oof. Uh oh. Well, oh, let's no. find well, maybe they're not yellow. Uh, uh, there's, there's a yellow one in there. All right. Then I still have my hand in front of me. Yep. Um. What are the top? Do you have? Can we play a card over the existing cards? Yes. Yes. You okay, good, good. Do you have oil? The cauldron ingredients oil. also count oil. as toward your color or ingredients. Yes, so if do. you don't yes, have a card on there and um, and that helps you, that that's still good. So Nikki, what you could do is you could play your orange newt saliva over thine own tongue, that orange thine own tongue, and then pass Binks to Lincoln. That way you have a very good idea of what each other has. Oh. In terms. Okay, and then I reveal them tricky, now. Tricky, tricky. Yep. And then Sweet. Nikki would pick her cards back up. Oh, look at you. Okay. Now you got to play something. Correct. But I have to ask you about something. Do you have, uh, what, what is that one over there? That is the Thine Own Tongue? Uh, no, it's a Newt Saliva right now. Oh, I see. As soon I see. As, yeah, as soon as you cover it, you're just trying to match whatever is on top. Sure, so. sure. Okay, well, I will play this then. Sweet. I'll draw a card. You keep your cards out because the oh, cards yeah, right, still there. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. My my hand is visible. Oh look at this visible. hand of spells. That's not good. What? The hand of spells. Oh, it's. Yeah, I got three yes. of them. This is bad. We're gonna have some badness happen right now. Uh, so I don't even ask because I can see what you have. Yeah, I want, we want to try to get um, this over there so that we can get. The what do we want to get? We want to get that over there. Yeah. Well, Is I can't. Uh, do not play an ingredient. Swap one ingredient with a player. Can you I can do that? Do not play an ingredient. Sounds like a good plan to me. 
Okay. Doesn't it? Yeah, or, I mean, or I you still, can still I, play red on red. I could. Yeah. All right. Red on red. Well, I'm just saying, then you save the special tile for later. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Draw a card. I got to get into the subtlety. The subtlety? That's the right. subtlety. <laughs> got to get that subtle in there like that B. <laughs> All right. sub, in subtle. Okay, well, uh, Nikki, do you have. I'm going to just say no. Okay. Do you have uh, <laughs> thine own tongue? I do. Okay. Well, I'm going to play that one. Sweet. And hope that we get what we need. Mm hmm. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, it, hey, you got a spell. Oh, yeah. That. Well, let's hope we don't lose what I just drew. Probably. So yeah. you could play Circle of Salt if you don't like the spell that you draw. Oh, okay. that looks like green lightning, so that's not going to mess with your halogen ingredients, I don't think. Discard the top of five. Okay. Again. Okay. Here we go. One. Do you want to cry? Do you want uh, to yeah, see I mean, this? Uh, well, we've got what we need. The problem no is, is you need to steal my card. How do I steal or, a card from you? I, well, it's your turn, right? Yeah. Yeah, play the card that you take, uh, swap one ingredient. Oh, okay. So we flip that. All right. That's the daylight, or, actually, daylight savings. Yes, sir. We can see Nikki's hand. She's got a tongue in her hand, which is gross. I don't know why you have a tongue in your hand, Nikki. Ah, okay. So she <laughs> plays that and then I do the other one. Those are gooey. Okay, yeah. go for it. Yeah, don't waste the... Uh, what do I do? Okay. So you play the tongue I so that it tongue. stays the same okay. ingredient, but not the right color. And, and then, then I ask you, hey, down. Nikki, uh, do you have something in your hand? Yes, you do. I do so have I'm stuff do this. in my hand. There we go. Okay. So now we've got all of the same oh. colors. Okay. And anyway. did that have, did awesome. not have a spell. So now you would put the stun token on Sarah because all ingredients are the same color. Ah. So it's ah. on Sarah. You move the um. sunrise track up one. We now. So we're going to gather up all of the ingredients in the cauldron and the discard pile. Reshuffle them. Do we keep our hands? You do keep your hands. Okay. okay. So go ahead and do that. So we're going to gather don't up take all of them. those and all the ingredients in the cauldron. Don't take all of what, Scott? Uh, Eric? Yeah, Cassidy's explaining. Okay, I'm I, sorry. I I'm interrupting. It. Okay. Go ahead, game um, passing. So I'm sorry. All of the ingredients in the cauldron and the discard pile, and you're going to separate them into special ingredients with the spell icon and the Binks icon. Ah. And the regular ingredients. You can put those in one pile. There we go. And then when you're done with that, you're going to put all of the regular ingredients into the discard pile and shuffle back in all of the special ingredients. Ah, so there we go. go it gets, the, gets worse and worse, yeah. More spells and more bink options. So uh, hand me those, I'll shuffle those. Or you can do it. You know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. Okay. So while they're doing that, I'll just mention a couple of comments. Uh, someone loves Mary being on the vacuum. Right. <laughs> in the Thank artwork, you. someone else saying yeah. that's just the year. Hocus Pocus is the yearly Halloween movie for them. And so, yes, it's still the fans many decades old. Um, <laughs> someone asking, can you ahead. play orange? Someone asking, can you play orange on the orange newt? And yes, you can play any orange card on an orange card. Any orange on the orange, any matching icon on the matching icon. So very straightforward oh. play, but you have to figure out what people can play. Yeah, all, all the ingredients can... match and all five colors are visible. Yipes, okay. All right, I'm not up to four. So all so. the ingredients match, meaning the same ingredient, but all five different colors? Yes. Right. Ah, okay, that's challenging. So each round changes yes. as well, you it's, Yeah, whatever complete. you're targeting. Yeah. Okay. So you don't have yeah. to so, stun separate witches each time. You could stun Sarah three times. That's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you don't have to stun Winifred now. You can stun Mary, you can stun Sarah again. That's fine. What do you want to do? That's right. Well, they have like a I, collective heart, right? I do have like two of one kind of ingredient. Okay. You probably weren't supposed to tell me that. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> you can ask me what I have. <laughs> uh, do you have... Can... Okay. Um, do, do, do you and newt you saliva? I do not. Okay. I'm going to do that anyways. 
Okay. And I do want to mention briefly, um, our artist for this game, Anne Marcelino, um, was unfortunately hit by a car. She's okay, um, oh, but oh her my. drawing hand was injured. It's going to be several months before she's able to work again. So Boo. Um, we put out the GoFundMe link to help with her recovery. So if you are willing and able, to join us in supporting her recovery. Wow. Okay. Okay. Ooh. That is dangerous. not good. Okay, Nikki, do you have... Do you have... Mm-hmm. Uh, shoot. Do you have any dead man's toe? <laughs> That's gross. You say no to dead I, man's toe? I would toe? say no to that. <laughs> shoot. Um, it's probably a good In thing this game you. and real life. Yeah. And it's a good to not have a dead man's toe? <laughs> Uh, I think any of these things. I mean, thine own tongue is probably good to have, but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna Not do that. Hand. Yeah. Okay. Oof. This is gonna be hard. Okay. And you got Cassidy a spell. Up. Oh, a spell! Boom, boom! Come, little children, I'll take thee away into a land of enchantment. Players cannot cannot ask for information until another spell is cast. Uh oh. Yipes! Except, well, maybe you play a card. Isn't that Sarah? It is. It is. So that's not. So that's it doesn't different. matter. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, that's right. nice. You took her out for now. Uh, Cassidy, good. someone's asking when might this game be available in Canada? Will it be available in Canada? It should be. It's August now, right? Where has the year yes. gone? So it should be available yes. now. Okay. Do you have um, thine own tongue? I do have thine own tongue. Okay. Uh, I've got terrible. This is terrible. Okay, here we go. Okay. Or I could play it over there. Did you say you did? No, yes. I'll go over here. Let's see what happens. Okay, draw a card. Hey, Nikki, do you have thine own tongue? Yes, I do. All right. Wow, you got a lot of purple. That's what I was saying. You should have spread that to, around. I know, but I was trying to get the right ingredients. Hmm. All right. So we got another couple of minutes, Cassidy, while they're playing in the background. I don't know if there's anything else to talk about with the game availability. Uh, so I yes, it's available that. in the U.S. and Canada. So any other yes, availability? Um, so look at for... Indigo in Canada. Excuse me? So we go... Oh, we Indigo Books okay. in Canada is where you can And we draw... Okay. All right. Um, and just due to licensing, is that are those the only countries of availability? We're doing type, right? I don't know if it's a licensing yes. consideration. We might localize it, but we always look at um, is there a demand for it in a specific market? Is the license available? How is it doing in terms of sales? Mm. It okay. might go to other countries, but we don't have that confirmed. It's also available in the UK, though. Do you have thine own tongue? No. Okay, well, I'll play that. Okay. We got the kitty. Oh, kitty. Show your hand. Well, it says... What was the deal with that? It would cause that. Oh, and the then cat icon. and then okay, yeah, I guess so. Okay, well then there's my there's my hand. Mm. This seems oh. like it'd be much harder with six people. It's just because I don't know, you're working towards things. There's a lot of nonverbal communication. So there's a lot of wink wink nudge nudge. Um, <laughs> at least when I play with my family. And my mother just blatantly regards any rule she doesn't disregards any rule she doesn't like. So she'll just tell us things when she shouldn't, but Honestly, if you're having fun with the game, feel free to interpret the rules however you like. That's right. Also, that sounds like mothers anyway. Well, if I do this. <laughs> At least mine. I will just. Yeah, that's right. I will do what I wish. Draw, and I do this. Oh. Okay. Well, they can just continue playing, and we can thank you for coming because we're at the end of our time. Got a good overview of the game here. Uh, it's definitely, yes, different nature of gameplay with more people. So. Thank you very much for the overview, Cassidy. And now you can look for Hocus so Pocus the game on store shelves uh, or the Cassidy shelves. <laughs> Cassidy shelves. <laughs> and you can get, yes, you can get a Binks of your own. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Bye. Take care, Cassidy. Thanks. <laughs>